What's up guys, it's Juan Zuniga. So today I'm gonna go over my cologne collection. So as you can see here, these are all my colognes. I have 20 different colognes and um, I got rid of some of them. Um, I had the uh, Paco Rabanne 1 million. Um, I honestly don't know where it's at. Somebody probably took that one. Anyways, um, but the, this is what I have in my um, cologne cabinet and this is my collection. So I'm gonna go all, show you what I have and um, tell you which ones are my favorites. So let's hop into it. But before we continue, I wanna talk to you guys about a sponsor, Rose Golden Black. Rose Golden Black has sponsored this video and right now they're having a deal where you can either get the minimal bar necklace or the minimal bar bracelet um, for an amazing deal. You can get 30% off if you click our land, uh, the link down below and that takes you to our landing page and everything there is gonna be 30% off. But if you use a coupon code down below, you get an extra 15% off for those two collections. And on top of that, look at that. That's a new new bead bracelet. This is the minimal bead bracelet. And this is the Tuscany bead. And let me tell you, I love it. It has hints of like blue, white, and some like salmon color. It just looks amazing. So check out Rose Golden Black, guys. I'll have the link down below. Check all their stuff is amazing, and I love using it. In my opinion, you have to wear some type of accessories, either a bracelet, a ring, a watch, or even a necklace, just to complete your outfit. And Rose Golden Black has been doing it amazingly. And Rose Golden Black is offering that for you guys in an affordable price with amazing quality, top-notch craftsmanship. It's it's it's. It would be dumb not to check them out and try their stuff out because it is top-notch quality at a beautiful, beautiful, affordable price. So check out Rose Gordon Black, guys. I'll have the link down below. So now let's start our video. So we're going to start from this side, which is the least expensive side, and then go up, you know, um, to this side, which is, you know, they're more niche colognes more expensive so the first one that i have here um i used the big bottle already so this it came with a package a big one a small one this is what i have left and this is the dolce gabbana one this is a very vanilla cologne it smells amazing great for like the fall winter um but it's very vanilla everybody's gonna love it nobody's gonna really hate it um great for the office because it's not overpowering and you're gonna smell amazing so why not dolce gabbana the one very is an og very old um, not very old, but you know, it's old and, and, and it's been around for a while. The next one is a shore. Um, this is one of ours and it smells amazing. This is a, this is a very all around year round cologne. That's what we wanted to do with a shore. Something that smelled amazing. There was a parfum and it smelled amazing all around and something that you could use anywhere you went. So a shore did that and people loved, I mean, we sold out and hours i think in like two hours we were sold out which was amazing we are coming out with a new cologne which um we're very proud of and that's actually three different colognes um but um yeah that's coming out soon but yeah sure very very good it was affordable as well um and you had a lot of bang for your buck the next one is the office men this is a great cologne as well this is very vanilla something that it's kind of like the Dolce & Gabbana one. You can use it all around and it's it's made for the office. That's why it's called office, um, I think. Um, anyways, but it's made for the office. It's, it's something that you can use. It's not gonna bother a lot of people. Um, great cologne. I don't even remember how much that was. And another favorite of mine is the YSL Y. This is a great cologne for a date. Um, this thing is gonna the girls are going to melt when they smell you with this one. Um, YSL does another amazing cologne, and there's the YSL Loam. Uh, very popular. This one's very, I think I was in like a middle school when this one came out. And it still smells amazing. Very fresh, very refreshing. Um, great cologne to have for the summer. Um, two here, um, I have the Vince Camuto. Uh, this one right here is the Terra. Very great cologne for the fall. It's very spicy and leathery and tobacco-y. Uh, very earthy and then of course the versace arrows and this one this one this is kind of like that cologne that you use to go out with your buddies to the club that's the club that's the cologne you, you need to get definitely a great cologne um and this one spice bomb of course I've, I've told you guys about this one this one if you want something very spicy um for the the um fall and winter this is a great cologne, runs for around 150 bucks. Um, great cologne to have. And yeah, I love the design. 
a little grenade um, all these colognes right here run for you know around 60 to 100 bucks um, 150 for this one now this side is the most expensive one because this is the niche side and as you guys can see here I have five of the creeds um, let's start with this one this is the royal oud if you guys know what oud is um, you know how amazing oud smells um, but you know oud is something that you either love or hate and this I love I'm a very big fan of oud is very Oody. <laughs> um, amazing cologne. Um, again, great for fall and winter, in my opinion, because it's just the oud, the way it smells. Um, this is the uh, Millesimi Imperial by Creed. Great, refreshing cologne for the summer. I love it. Uh, doesn't last as long as this one and it doesn't last as long of course this one this is the creed aventus this is a very a lot of people don't like this one but um i love it i think it's a great great summer cologne and i also have the aventus cologne that i got um for birthday i think from my wife a lot of these colognes i've gotten for birthdays or christmas or presents i mean a very few of them is that i actually buy myself um for example this one i bought it when i went to paris the first time um no sorry i bought this one when i went to paris the first time this one i actually bought myself because i fell in love with it as soon as i saw it and this one everything else pretty much has been a gift um anyways aventus cologne great great summer cologne as well but it doesn't last as much or as long as the aventus original aventus i love this one himalaya by another great refreshing um clean cologne and as you and you know the summer colognes the citrusy ones don't last as long just because citrusy colognes don't last as long um the spicier ones do so that's something to keep in mind why you know these don't last as long um another favorite of mine and is another oud and like like i said i love oud is the mfk great oud cologne very refreshing um and even though these are great for fall and winter i still use them once in a while especially if on a date night or something like that it, it, it won't you know it doesn't hurt um one cologne that i officially love um that is amazing is penhaligon penhaligon is a brand that um you either know or you don't but when you know you know and penhaligon does some amazing cologne so for example this is the penhaligon um Halfetti, and this one is a very spicy one but it lasts all day amazing cologne and this one is mr sham this one is that powerful ah, like you're 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 mr zuniga you're mr whatever when you wear this cologne it smells amazing great refreshing cologne and i love their bottles i love their design this design with these heads are amazing it's just so sturdy so great and it just smells amazing and one of my favorites, Killian Ex Intoxicated, one of my favorite brands. Killian does an amazing job with their presentation. Their box is amazing when they give it to you. A great thing about these is that they're refillable. So you pay about 300 bucks for the bottle. And then each refill is like 150 or 200 bucks. So it's pretty good. It's a good bargain. And this one is Intoxicated. And I love it, man. It's so intoxicating. Oh, man. This is definitely a date night cologne that I use, and, and it's just my wife loves this thing. Um, another one that I got, and is the Byredo Oud Immortal. Um, Byredo, I've only seen it in a few stores. It's a Swedish company, if I'm not wrong. Um, well, it's made in France, but it, the company is Swedish. Um, and I love their simple design, and they smell amazing. This is the Oud Immortal, and like, like I said, I love Oud. And, this one, hands down, one of the amazing colognes. And I've only found it in, I think, one of the Saks Fifth Avenues here in the area. Got this one as a present as well from my sister. So, um, yeah, lo love that cologne. Um, of course, I you can't have a cologne collection without Tom Ford. And I have two of the best, in my opinion, Tom Ford colognes out there. Um, of course, there's other ones like uh, Cafe Road. Um, I have two of the ones that I like um, a lot. And it is Ombre Leather great for the winter and fall it's very leathery it's very biker dude with leather and the other one is effing fabulous um this thing is effing fabulous really i love it oh man it smells so good um it is effing fabulous this one's another one that is a 
date night cologne, a cologne that you wear it, you know, when you're trying to impress a girl or you're trying to impress your girl. Um, definitely, definitely worth it. Um, so yeah, that's my crazy collection. I have about $3,000 worth of colognes, which is insane. But like I said, I haven't been buying a lot of them. A lot of them have been gifts. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool when people know that you love colognes, they gift you colognes for birthday, Father's Day, Christmas, whatever it is, whenever they want to buy you something. And and they they know my style. So and all of these colognes, I've never gotten a cologne that I'm like, I don't like this. I love cologne. So um, yeah, these are my fragrances. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time.